one uh, today we have a problem now on uh, from past papers on grounding a vessel of length 148 meter LCF 70 meter draft forward 8 meters draft of 9.8 meters TPC 32 MCTC 264 lightly grounds on gently sloping seabed soundings taken at that instant showed forward depth as 8 meters and aft depth as 10.9 meters find the draft after tide falls by first instant they are asking about 30 centimeter falling tide and thus 2 meters falling tide so it's a sloping seabed and as you can see very clearly that forward draft is 8 meters and the depth also forward is 8 meters so she is lightly aground at the forward perpendicular the drafts comparing the draft and the depth we can see both are equal so in this case there are two questions here one is when the tide is falling by 30 centimeter and second time when the tide has fallen by 2 meters what will be the drafts so first thing that we must find out what will be the falling tide when ship will be sitting overall on the seabed because until the time the ship sits overall on the seabed there is trim in question trimming moment is there trim trim change is taking place so we can apply the formula of trim but once the ship is completely sitting on the seabed overall after that there is no change of trim so we cannot apply the same formula of change of trim then so that's why it's important to know at what fall in tide the ship will be sitting overall so we know in the first case when the tide has fallen by 30 centimeter whether the ship is sitting overall or not sitting and second time when it's fallen by two meters whether the ship is sitting or not sitting because the drafts will differ then so I have a diagram here you can see the diagram the, this is WL is the water line and it's a sloping uh, seabed the forward portion the draft is 8 meters and also depth is 8 meters forward draft is equal to forward depth as given in the question both are 8 meters then the sloping seabed is there aft depth is 10.9 meters so there is a difference of 2.9 meters between forward depth and aft depth at the moment aft draft is 9.8 meters so when the ship is uh, first of all we have to see when the ship is sitting completely on the seabed overall along the full length then the trim of the ship will be equal to whatever is the difference in the depths forward and aft see the aft depth is 10.9 and forward depth is 8 meters so there is a difference of 2.9 meters towards the stern so if the ship is sitting on the seabed completely the ship will be trimmed by 2.9 meters by stern because when she is sitting completely the drafts will be equal to the depth so in order to find what will be the fall in tide when the ship is sitting overall okay let's find drop in the tide level fall in the tide level for vessel to sit overall on the seabed at the moment it is lightly ground on the forward part vessel is grounded at forward perpendicular so therefore draft forward is equal to depth forward which is 8 meters 
and the depth of this 10.9 meters. So as I explained, because when the ship, what will be the trim of the vessel when vessel is sitting overall on the seabed? 10.9 minus 8. See depth aft and depth forward difference. 2.9 meter by stud. Because aft depth is 2.9 meters more than the forward depth. So when she is sitting overall, the difference in the depths will be the trim. So 2.90 meter will be the trim of the ship by stern when she is sitting overall on the seabed. What is the present trim? Present drafts are 9.8 aft draft and 8 is the forward draft. So 9.8 minus 8. 1.80 meter by stern. This is the present trim. And what will be the change in the trim when the ship as the tide continues to drop, the ships uh, will keep trimming by stern. Then at one at one stage, the ship will be sitting completely on the seabed. So what will be the change of trim? Parent trim is 1.8 meter. When completely sitting on seabed, it will be 2.9 meter by stern. So the change of trim is 2.9 minus 1.8, 1.10 meter by stern okay from 1.8 it, it will increase to 2.9 when she is sitting so 1.10 meter 110 centimeter change of trim so p force which is acting at the forward perpendicular multiply by distance of the forward perpendicular from center of rotation which is Length between perpendicular LBP minus LCF. Okay. LBP minus LCF will be the distance of the forward perpendicular from center of rotation. Because P force is acting right at the forward perpendicular where the ship is touching the ground. So this is the trimming moment. This is the trimming moment P into LBP minus LCF. And Trimming moment, you know, it's always equal to change in the trim cost into MCTC. So P into LBP is 148, LCF is 70 given in the question. P into 148 minus 70 equal to change of trim. We have just seen change of trim will be 110 centimeters. 110 multiplied by MCTC 264. This gives me P 372.31 tons. So P is 372.31 tons when the ship will sit overall on the seabed. So what will be the reduction in draft forward? when the vessel is sitting overall on the seabed that will be also equal to fall in tide because ship is grounded at the forward perpendicular so whatever will be, will be the fall in tide that will be the reduction in forward draft and we know the reduction in forward draft will also be mean rise due to p4 p force mean rise plus trim forward trim. So total reduction in the draft forward will be mean rise plus forward trim and that will be equal to the fall in the tide level. So mean rise is P upon TPC plus TF which is the forward trim is change of trim upon LBP into distance of forward perpendicular from center of rotation. LBP minus LCF. So we've got the P here 372.31 upon 32 is the TPC plus change of trim is 110 centimeters multiplied by distance of forward perpendicular from center of rotation which is 78 upon LBP. This gives 69.6 centimeters. So when the this is about 
you can say it's about 70 centimeters you can round off also 70 centimeters so about 69.6 or 70 centimeter fall in tide after 70 cent uh, centimeter fall in tide the ship will be sitting overall on the seabed so let's now see our situation in the first case fall in tide is just 30 centimeter so i know that fall in tide is only 30 centimeter that means ship is not sitting overall aft portion is still floating because fall in tide has to be 70 centimeter for the ship to sit so i can apply my trim formula because still the change of trim is taking place with the 30 centimeter tide vessel is not sitting overall on seabed fall in tide is equal to p upon tpc plus same what we did uh, earlier so reduction in forward draft is equal to fall in tide and which is mean rise p upon tpc plus trim forward change of trim upon lbp into distance of forward perpendicular from center of rotation See, so fall in tide is 30 centimeters so 30 is equal to p upon 32 plus change of trim is trimming moment upon mctc and trimming moment is p into lbp minus lcf lbp minus lcf is distance of center of rotation from forward perpendicular so p into forward length upon mctc so this is trimming moment upon mctc that is change of trim multiply by again lbp minus lcf upon lbp so this portion this is change of trim okay this one change of this is change of trim trimming moment upon mcpc and then remaining again we have to multiply by lbp minus lcf upon lbp here Okay, so I put the values here 30 centimeters equal to P upon 32 plus P into 78 into 78 upon 264 into 148. So 78 is the distance of forward perpendicular from center of rotation. It is multiplied by multiplied twice here. 264 is MCTC, LBP is 148. So now I get P 160.46 this is the value of p after 30 centimeter fall in tide so after 30 centimeter fall in tide p is 160.46 what is the change in the trim p into 78 upon mctc okay 78 is a distance of center of rotation from forward particular so trimming moment upon mctc 160.46 into 78 upon 264 this will be in centimeters divide by 100 to get it in meters the change of trim if i don't divide by 100 i will get in centimeters but i divide by 100 to and i got in meters so i get 0.474 meter by stern change of trim after 30 centimeter fall in time so what was the original trim of the ship 1.8 meters the drafts were 8 and 9.8 so original trim was 1.8 change in the trim due to p force is 0.474 so what is the total trim after 30 centimeter fall in time 2.274 meter by stern so original trim plus change in trim because change in trim is also by stern the ship is grounded in the forward part so the p force is acting in the forward part so 2.274 meter is the trim total trim of the vessel after 30 centimeter fall in tight what will be the forward draft because forward draft in the reduction in forward draft will always be equal to the 
fall in tide because ship is grounded at that location. So forward draft is 8 meters originally when she was lightly ground. 30 centimeter fall in tide. So minus 0 0.3 gives me 7.70 meter is the forward draft after 30 centimeter fall in tide. And when the and what is the total trim that that time 2.274 so half draft will be forward draft plus trim 7.7 .7 is the forward draft and trim by stern is 2.274 so half draft will be 9.974 so we got the first answer the drafts after 30 centimeter fall in time Now case 2, fall in tide is now 2 meters. See, we have already, already checked here that after 70 centimeter fall in tide or, or to be precise 69.6 .6 centimeter fall in tide, the ship is now sitting completely overall on the seabed along its length. After this, whatever will be the fall in tide, the draft will reduce accordingly. Okay, because there is no trim change after 70 centimeter fall in tide, there is no change of trim taking place because ship is sitting completely on the seabed. So, ship is grounded at the forward uh, location. So, what will be the forward draft after 2 meters fall in tide? Okay, original draft forward draft 8, 2 meters fall in tide, forward draft will be 6 meters because draft where the ship is grounded it, the rate of uh, uh, reduction will be equal to the rate of falling tide if the uh, tide falls by 1 meter draft will reduce by 1 meter because ship is grounded there so if the tide falls by 2 meters draft will reduce by 2 meters at the forward perpendicular ok so and and the ship is uh, 2.90 meter is a trim by stern when she is sitting overall. So, half draft will be 6 is a forward draft plus 2.9, 8.90 meter. That's all. Thank you very much. And any comments or doubts you can leave in the section. Okay, thank you very much.